Hello guys, this is Anish Fujia with another tutorial and this is going to be a tutorial on how to get renders such as... If I can't... Oh, I'm using a stupid mouse. Uh, such as these four things. Okay, so this is very darkish looking. Cool, kinda. I don't know if it's cool, but depth of field, some fog, some stuff. Uh, then this, and this. This is by the way for my new animation and stuff. Um, this would be like when someone dies or something. I don't know. No one dies, trust me. Okay. Uh, this is a very bad one. Trust me. Okay. Now, let's load in my house thing. Now, I'm going to show you how to make that volumetric light you saw there. So, uh, volumetric light is this one. You see that? That light. Okay. Uh, get, 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 just make a sky, let's make a sky first, let's just get the basics done, I'm going to be using a physical sky for the final render, but I'm just going to show you, what am I doing, I'm just going to show you the fastest render, not the fastest, but a good render that you can use just for faster, if you want to save one render time, but normally you would use a physical sky if you don't want to save one render time. So now make the gradient and put it on the sky. Then make a the infinite light. Click on the light. Go to the camera. Set active object as camera. And now you are the light. Cool, right? It's so cool. Okay. Now position it in front of the house. If you want to have more help, go to options enhance OpenGL. I know that some people have problems with. OpenGL not working and stuff. Sorry for you guys. Um, the cameras use camera default. Okay, so as you can see, there are no shadows because we didn't add it. We didn't add the shadows. Did I? Yeah, make sure you want shadows doing that. Oh, by the way, uh, lens effect. I've already showed you this, but let's just go through it again. Lens uh, default default edit. Peach, peach color. Increase, increase, increase. Okay. Now when we render. Cool sun. Cool sun looking thing. And why is there a bookshelf there? Uh, okay. Um, so this is the render like a physical sky. You got that done. But I'm going to delete that because. Maybe I should keep it just to show you how it works and stuff. Uh, okay, make a normal light. Um, did I add shadows? No, I didn't add shadows. On. And soft, and then it's seventy. And by the way, if you wanted, if you uh, didn't get the render settings done, so uh, twenty-four. I think you should put this on one two eight zero. On two zero zero because whenever I like I I like it at this but whenever I put it on YouTube it like cuts off some parts of the screen or something but I guess it's okay it's not gonna be a big problem RPF of course and save it as a few J and then of course these two things and then change that low low Wait, what lens effect is uh, is the sun if you don't have it you can't have that sun okay so now we have that done now click on the light go to camera set active object position the spotlight where you need it to be okay oh make sure it's like where the sun is, kind of. So, okay. Uh, camera. Use camera. Default. Oh, okay. Now, click on it. No shadow. Uh, change fall off to zero. Zero details. General. Change it to volumetric. Details. Outer angle. Increase that. 
in angle just keep that like that spec ratio and get the size of the lights kind of uh, glass make sure you click on the glass and then go right click on it then my 40 tags compositing and then off off cast cast shadows and receive shadows off them I've already done it oh I didn't do it now oh. and another thing compositing on the sky if you see if you render right now it's blue because of the sky being blue so if you click on this and then go off scene by GI it should off that effect sometimes you don't need it because it looks weird oh by the way spotlights look bad outside <laughs> so you want to just uh, do some keyframing on it and stuff okay increase the size of it okay that looks good I don't think I did the correct settings on it nice yep didn't do that visibility 8 50 50 this is a very bad noise don't use mine just mess with it and then make your own um, in a distance increase that out a distance and okay lens uh, I think I did everything for this so let's just test render and see how it looks. Probably looks bad without the physical sky. Yep. It does look kind of bad. But you see the volumetric light coming in. Um, if I had a physical sky, the light would look better than this. It's kind of too much of light probably because I'm in the light but uh, let's try it again I'll pause I realized it was too much inside yeah. whoa yeah so many things whoa too many things I don't know what's happening just mess with it and you should get a good setting so I'm gonna delete just for better settings delete that and get a physical sky and now let's render it Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. My set is divided into different parts. One with moving objects, which will cause lag while I'm recording. One with 3D objects that will cause lag, like bookshelves. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Okay, okay so load this one. This is basically the rocks and stuff stone and stuff this is moving grass this is moving grass oh this is water and stuff this is bookshelves and this is the lighting so I'm just gonna import my previous light this one by the way one quick thing what the clue showed me um, is uh, where is environment environment then go to object off on this off that and change the strength to about three percent it adds a cool foggish look but I don't know it looks better with the environment during the time is better uh, longer uh, but the environment makes just I don't know better ah uh, let's leave it um, right okay now let's see if we got the save yeah okay Oh, didn't import the bookshelves. Expect lag. Bookshelf, bookshelf, bookshelf. Okay, got. There are no bookshelves, but it'll render it out. Okay, and the time would be approximately one minute. Oh, one and a half. Ooh, that is slow. Be right back. So I rendered something else out here. So this is with my lighting and this is with the physical sky lighting. So as you can see it's quite a bit of a difference and this is the one I just rendered up now. 
It's really dark and weird looking, but I forgot to add the torch there. Uh, I didn't import it, but it's okay. But you can see the light looks really cool. And okay, let's get into Adobe After Effects. Import uh, we already all know this. I've done a tutorial on it, but I'm just gonna go over the fog a little. How it can affect so depth of field, of course. I love it. Depth of field. Very bad depth of field, by the way. This has because the RPF format is not perfect. It has rough edges sometimes. It just changes to 300 for lag matters. If you increase it too much. Focal plane is too big and then there's lag. Like right now. I don't know what focal bias or whatever it is does. What's happening? What is happening? No idea what was happening, but okay, let's find where this focal plane is. Okay, there it is. Um, so what the focal plane is, is basically where it's focusing. And if we increase the size, of course, it will increase the size of it. So let's focus it on that. Uh, oh, maybe that. I don't care, I'm just like somewhere here. Okay, this area. Increased its size. Okay, uh, maybe a little more back. Okay, so we blurred out this part. And now let's add some fog. 3D channel, fog 3D. Decrease that. And now let's change the color to a greenish as you can see the door is messed up because of the RPF format so we just need to photoshop that you probably know how to do that just watch some tutorials on photoshop but you can off the fog or just change it to a white color again I guess that's okay I don't care hue and saturation I like dark pictures. <laughs> Not like that, but you very cool. Like when um, I don't know. Describe the setting. Lighting can make a big difference. Okay, so this would be like the house when it's dark, and then <laughs> I'm just thinking because it's my new animation, so then this would be when it's a happy moment and stuff. So, okay, so that's basically it. Go to render it, composition, compositing settings, changes to 0 0.1 and stuff, and then go add to render queue. Lossless, make it change it to lossless. Then JPEG sequence. Okay, render. Oh, output to. What noise is it? There it is. So, moment of truth. I will put the download for this. Looks. Uh, I don't know what it looks like, but it's good. Um. Okay, oh, what am I doing? Okay, so thank you for watching.